My name is Orlando Suazo, a 2010 Nye College graduate and the co-founder of A View Hired Pictures, a storytelling company. And do I have a story for you? It's a story that made headlines April 5th, 2013 in the Wall Street Journal, but it really began here, in 1882, on the backstage of our Broadway theater in Manhattan. This very location housed the Gospel Tabernacle and the Missionary Training Institute, what is today Nye College, founded by Dr. A.B. Simpson. Nye College moved to Rockland County in 1897, and Simpson Hall became the school's foundation for Nyack's residential campus. But pieces of the dream remained in New York City, and in 1997, Nyack moved back to Manhattan, and as enrollment continued to climb, it became clear that eventually, Nyack was in need of a new, more permanent home. Ten years later, the vision for a miracle was birthed, and the search began for a miracle in Manhattan. That was then. This is Nyack now. This is the new home of Nyack NYC and historic Battery Park, where nearly 50% of our 3,400 students will earn undergraduate and graduate degrees. There are 60 spacious classrooms, state-of-the-art computer and science labs, as well as an entire floor dedicated to our music department, a 120-seat performing arts center, as well as a new library, worship, and multi-purpose center. Nyack joins the landscape of other Manhattan landmarks. The gatekeeper of Manhattan, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, the symbol of American immigration, Wall Street, the World Trade Center's Freedom Tower, and the 9-11 Reflecting Pool. What could be more fitting than for Nyack to expand its territory right here in the gateway city to the world? Our students come from all five boroughs of the city. More than 62 countries are represented. More than 20 languages are spoken on our campus. Our students can literally speak to the world. The metropolitan New York City area has home to more than 20 million residents. That means the world of opportunity is at our doorstep. Imagine the possibilities for future educators, corporate and government leaders, medical professionals, community development visionaries, and church leaders being prepared at NIAC, a hub of Christian scholarship. NIAC College is building world-class Christian University. We signed a 20-year lease with two-year option to purchase an historic battery park space for $49.3 million. We have just two years to make this our permanent New York City campus. To learn more about this extraordinary project, visit www.nyac.edu slash M-I-N. At Nyack College, men and women are being educated and empowered. We are stepping up to be a new generation of world changers. This is what the world needs now. Nyack, New York's Christian College.
I sit it. Yeah. Where are you guys seated? I have no idea. We don't know where mom is. There she is.
Welcome to the class of 2013. Would you all please rise? We are honoring our founder, Dr. Albert Simpson, who composed this hymn and many others. Worship was always in the forefront, as was Jesus only. The organist and the pianist, Sue Talley and Tammy Lum, will play the hymn through once while the choir is assembling, and then we will all sing it together, loudly. You may all be seated.
Let us all stand and give God some praise in the mighty name of King Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of King Jesus, Abba Father, we just give you all the glory, all the praise for the marvelous and wonderful work you have been doing and will continue to do in Naya College. Today, Lord God, we celebrate our founder and trailblazer, A.B. Simpson, and all his successors. And today, we want to recognize our current president and his executive team, the board of trustees, all our benefactors, supporters, organizers and facilitators. And today, Lord God, we welcome all our members of faculty and all levels of staff, all the ATS and all the colleges and schools and programs. But most of all, mighty God, we just want to thank you for the miracle of today, the class of 2013. We want to thank you too, Father God, for all those upon whom doctoral degrees will be conferred, and all those candidates, and including the very first of our School of Nursing, who... <laughs> to him be glory, majesty, and power. And now at this moment, Father, we commit this 130th commencement exercises into your hands. To you, God, receive all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and all God's children say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, best and most unusual graduation commencement anywhere in the world today. These folks that you're here to celebrate will take the most powerful force in the universe with them, and that's the love of Jesus. And so we're thankful that we get to celebrate with them. And if you're a parent or a grandparent, could I ask you to stand so we can say thank you? And brothers and sisters, if, you, if you're here, brothers and sisters of our graduates, you should stand too. Yeah. Husbands and wives and children of these graduates. I want to ask, there's, we have many board, members of our board of trustees here today, and this is their payday because they get to see this all happen. And so I'm just going, we, we have so many, I'm going to ask our chairman, who has been one of the most influential people in the history of this institution, Dr. Ronald Eastman, if he would stand. And then the rest of our board stand, please, so we can say thank you. here to celebrate some special people. You did it. We congratulate you, the class of 2013. We are honored this afternoon to grant honorary degrees to three very distinguished individuals. Mr. President, members of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the candidate for the Honorary Doctorate of Divinity degree, 
the Reverend Tai Fook Trong. Reverend Trong, will you please come to the right side of the roster? Born into a Christian family in Ka Mau, South Vietnam, Tai Phuc Trong accepted Christ as his savior in 1968, the same year that the communists invaded the Bamituit Leprosy Center, killing five Christian and Missionary Alliance workers and a volunteer. He attended the Bible Institute in Nha Trang and became a pastor of Phu Quy Church in Than Thiet, Binh Thuan, a two-year training term. Upon his completion of his training, he returned to the Bible Institute to finish his education and graduated in 1974 with a bachelor's degree in biblical studies. From 2001 to 2005, Reverend Trong was general secretary of the executive board of the Evangelical Church of Vietnam, also known as the Tin Lan Church. Reverend Tai Phuc Trong was senior pastor for more than three decades of the Phu Lam Church in Ho Chi Minh City. He served as interim pastor of Bin Tay Church in Tan Hoa Dong Church, also in Ho Chi Minh City. Reverend Trong was elected president of the Tin Lan Church in 2005 and is currently serving a second term. In addition, he is the interim president of the Vietnamese Bible Institute where he has been a professor since 2003. In June 2011, the Tin Lan Church celebrated 100 years of ministry, beginning with the first Christian and Missionary Alliance outreach to Vietnam. It was in 1911 that three Alliance International workers, led by Robert A. Jaffrey, an alumnus of Nyack College, went to Vietnam to establish the first evangelical church. Today, the legacy of evangelical work through the Christian and Missionary Alliance, the affiliate denomination of Nyack College, lives on in Vietnam through the faithful ministry of Reverend Trong. I am very pleased to introduce the Reverend Tai Phuc Trong. By virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Trustees upon the recommendation of the faculty of Nyack College and Alliance Theological Seminary, and by virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I have the honor to confer upon you the Doctor of Divinity Honors Causa and cause you to be invested with the hood appropriate to that degree. May the Lord bless you. Thật là một vinh dự rất lớn lao và đầy cảm động đối với tôi khi được nhận bằng tiến sĩ danh dự và được phát biểu trong thời giờ này. It is a great honor and emotion, emotional for me as I come here to receive an honorary doctorate degree. Cảm tạ ơn Chúa vì Ngài đã ban cho tôi ơn rất lớn trong sự cứu chuộc, kêu gọi và dùng tôi trong chức vụ hầu việc Chúa. I have to thank to the Lord who has redeemed me, saved me, and used me in his ministry. Tôi được sanh ra và lớn lên trong gia đình Cơ đốc, được Chúa thương xót, dẫn dắt và gìn giữ trong suốt 44 năm trong việc học lời Chúa và chăn bày chiên của Chúa tại Việt Nam. I was born in the Christian family and because of his grace that he's the one who provide me protect me and lead me over 44 years of studying his word and also leading his flocks. Cảm ơn Chúa vì Ngài cho tôi được góp phần nhỏ trong công việc rất lớn của Đức Chúa Trời trong lịch sử của Hội Thánh Việt Nam 102 năm. I also thank you the Lord that who has used me as I my small contribution in the great work of God over 44 years in the history of the 102 years of the Vietnamese Evangelical Church in Vietnam. 
nhất là trong 12 năm lãnh đạo công việc chú chung đầy khó khăn và thách thức tại Hội Thánh Tinh Lành Việt Nam. Mặc dù tôi chỉ là một đề tớ hèn mọn ở trước mặt Chúa. Especially my 12 years serving at the national office in Vietnam through many difficulties and I'm still a humble man before him. Tôi rất cảm tạ Chúa và cảm ơn mọi người đã cầu thai giúp đỡ cho tôi để được có như ngày hôm nay. I also thank you God and thank you everybody brother and sister who pray for me, help me that I am be able to stand before you today. Trong đó có người vợ quá cố của tôi. Especially to my dear wife who passed away recently. Có các con của tôi, các con cái Chúa khắp nơi và những người bạn đồng lao của tôi trong chức vụ. To my children, to my colleagues, those who been serving alongside with me in this ministry. Tôi cảm ơn ban trị sự tổng hội hội trị giáo phương Nam Liên Hiệp Hoa Kỳ đặc biệt là trường Nayak đã quan tâm đến chúng tôi và giúp đỡ cho tôi nhận được bằng tiến sĩ danh dự. Special thanks to the Christian Missionary Alliance headquarters in Colorado Springs and also to the staff, the principal and his uh, faculty at Nayak Seminary. Xin Chúa ban phước lại cho tất cả quý vị. May Lord bless you abundantly. Xin quý vị cầu nguyện nhiều cho hội thánh tin lành tại Việt Nam. And I would like also to raise a special request for you to pray for the evangelical church in Vietnam. Từ sau 1975, hội thánh gặp vô vàng khó khăn, nhưng cảm ơn Chúa bởi quyền năng của Chúa, hội thánh đã phát triển. Mặc dầu viện thánh kinh thần học đã bị đóng cửa từ năm 1976, 27 năm sau mới được tái lập, nhưng Chúa vẫn ban phước và mặc dầu còn nhiều mới mẻ, nhưng Chúa đã từng bước ban phước cho hội thánh. And so thank you God that our church have gone through many difficulties especially after the fall 1975 and the Vietnamese seminary was shut one year after the fall. But after 27 years the seminary be able to open again in 2003. Ước ao những ngày còn lại trong đời sống và chức vụ của tôi sẽ được tiếp tục góp phần vào công việc của Chúa tại quê nhà và đặc biệt với Viện Thánh Chư Thần Học sau khi nhận văn bằng danh dự này. My desire after this point to continue to serve faithfully to the church in Vietnam and to the Vietnamese seminary. Mong rằng mối liên hệ của Hội Thánh Tinh Lành Việt Nam với tổng hội hội đồng giáo phận liên hiệp ở tại Hoa Kỳ, đặc biệt là trường thần học Na Dắt sẽ kết nối với nhau và hỗ trợ nhiều hơn nữa trong những ngày tháng sắp tới cho công việc Đức Chúa Trời tại Việt Nam đầy khó khăn và thách thức. I am also looking for a closer relationship between the Evangelical Church in Vietnam and the Christian Missionary Alliance, especially the tight partnership with the ATS. Here in Naya. Và không phải chỉ là miền Nam nhưng cả miền Bắc nữa vì đất nước Việt Nam đã bị chia cắt từ gần 60 năm qua. Ước ao sẽ được thống nhất hai miền ở trong tháng 9 năm 2013 này để hội thánh sẽ được phát triển nhiều hơn. Our churches was divided after the fall for over 38 years and we're looking forward to this coming general assembly in this September for us the northern part of Vietnam and the southern part of Vietnam to be reunited. Xin quý vị tiếp tục cầu nguyện cho Hội Thánh Tinh Lành tại Việt Nam cho chức vụ của tôi trong những ngày tháng sắp tới. And we would like you to pray for us, especially for the church in Vietnam. Xin Chúa ban phước cho quý vị và chân thành cảm ơn. Again, thank you very much and may God bless you. Đứng đây, xin. We have the two executive members of the church in Vietnam also accompany him here and present a gift on behalf of the Vietnamese Evangelical Church.
Chúng tôi xin đại diện cho Hội Thánh Tinh Lành Việt Nam và Viện Thần Học Tinh Lành Việt Nam. Chúng tôi tham dự tại đây chứng kiến buổi lễ hết sức trang trọng mà trường Nai Ác cấp bằng tiến sĩ danh dự cho mục sư hội trưởng của chúng tôi. On behalf of the Vietnamese Evangelical Church, we thanks for opportunity to be here and witness that Nayak with your decision to confer him an honorary doctorate degree. Thì giờ này mở ra một trang sử mới giữa trường Nayak và Viện Thần học Việt Nam cũng như Tổng hội Tinh lành Phước Âm Liên Hiệp ở tại uh, Hoa Kỳ với Hội Thánh Tinh lành Việt Nam. And we looking and believe that this moment is a new chapter in history for Vietnam Seminary and the Nayak Seminary to become a partnership. Một lần nữa thay mặt cho Tổng Liên hội Thánh lành Việt Nam, chúng tôi trân trọng cảm ơn trường Nayak đã cấp bằng tiến sĩ danh dự cho một sư hội trưởng của chúng tôi. On behalf of the National Church again, thank you very much for the principal and his faculty. Xin Chúa đại diện trường Nayak để mở mang công việc Chúa chẳng những tại Hoa Kỳ mà khắp cả các nước trên thế giới. That we be able to continue to expand his kingdom all around the world. Trong đó có nước Việt Nam. Including Vietnam. Cảm ơn. We will now give a prayer of blessing for Reverend Trong. Father, we're so thankful for our heritage. We're thankful that a student, just like the students sitting out here now, graduated from this institution and started the Tin Lan Church by your grace and through your power. And that church has grown to be over a million people. We're so thankful, Lord, and we thank you, Father, even now for those martyrs who graduated from us and went to Vietnam and died for the cause because Lord it's the seed to those martyrs that grows the church and so we thank you for Reverend Trong we pray now that for him and his leadership team and for the the uh, Tin Lan Church in Vietnam we pray that your power and your grace might be poured out and that that whole country the entire country might see the love of Jesus in their lives and be drawn to him We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mr. President, members of the board, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the candidate for the honorary Doctor of Letters degree, Mr. Michael Flaherty. Mr. Michael Flaherty, will you please come to the right side of the roster? Michael Flaherty is the president and co-founder of Walden Media, a production company with a mission to rekindle curiosity and recapture imagination through the development and creation of family films and literature. Walden has financed and produced a number of films such as The Lion, The Witch and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, Charlotte's Web, Bridge to Terabithia, Holes, Because of Winn-Dixie, and Journey to the Center of the Earth 3D. Through its publishing division, Walden has also co-published a number of award-winning books, including Mike Lupica's Comeback Kids series and the New York Times bestseller and Newbery Honor winner, Savvy, by first-time author Ingrid Law. Walden also creates innovative educational programs, lessons plans, and events. Several thousand students have participated in these events including an international effort to read Charlotte's Web aloud and to collect Toys for Tots, both of which resulted in world record-breaking results. Walden has also hosted an interactive writing workshop with Louis Sakar, children's book author, and also a national robotics competition with James Cameron, film producer and director. Mr. Flaherty is on the board of Rachel's Challenge, a program created in memory of Rachel Scott, the first victim of the Columbine High School shootings. He is also a member of the Global Advisory Council of Vision 360, an organization dedicated to supporting and founding churches nationwide. 
I am very pleased to introduce Mr. Michael Flaherty. By virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Trustees upon the recommendation of the faculty of Nyack College and Alliance Theological Seminary, and by virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I have the honor to confer upon you the Doctor of Letters, letters Honoris Causa, and cause you to be invested with the hood appropriate to that degree. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Class of 2013, God is good. All the time. Congratulations, especially to our first graduates of the nursing school. My mom's a nurse for 45 years. God bless you guys. I love being at a college that was founded backstage of a Broadway theater. What better place for someone from Hollywood to come for a Christian college? I remember sitting in your seat when I graduated in 1990. I got rejected from every law school I applied to, and I got rejected from every school that I applied to. And I had drifted for quite a while, and then the Lord blessed me, and I went on to meet my wife, not on a Christian mission, but in a bar in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> my wife, Kelly Flaherty, is here, if you could give Kelly a hand. But the most transformational part in our lives came in April of 1999 when we were saved by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And at that time, as you people know, our God, as we're reminded in Ephesians, is greater of more than we can ever ask and ever imagine. He had a plan for us just as he had a plan for you guys back when he created the heavens and the earth. And so I told my wife, you know what, I've always loved movies, why don't we start a movie company? And she said, well, what do you know about that? And I said, well, we're the first house in our neighborhood to get cable TV. <laughs> so my wife, as I mentioned this morning at the brunch, bought me business plans for dummies. And we wrote our first business plan. And we uh, got laughed out of every company in the United States. The last one that we could afford to go to was a gentleman in Denver. His name was Phil Anschutz. And he asked me, what movies are you going to make? And I said, well, why don't we talk about that after lunch? And I spoke to my wife, Kelly, I said, I can't believe it. We've, we've gotten this far. What movies are we going to make? And my wife said, hold on, here's my reading list from St. Peter's in South Boston. It's Journey to the Center of the Earth, Chronicles of Narnia, Charlotte's Web, Holes, Because of Winn-Dixie. So I got back and I said, Mr. Anschutz, let me tell you what our extensive focus group testing has showed us. <laughs> so my, God bless you, Kelly. Uh, I thank you so much for getting this going. And ne needless to say, after telling him about those books, I had to go back and read them. And at that time, I was just becoming a Christian, so I was reading the Bible at the same time. And what I found reading those stories was the same thing that I found when I was reading the Bible, which is the substance of faith is hoping in the unseen. When Lucy came back from Narnia and she told her brothers, hey, I just went to this magical wardrobe, they went to the professor and they said, I think Lucy's lost her mind. And you know what the professor said? Your sister's either a liar, a lunatic, or she's told you the truth. And that's the same with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's either a liar, a lunatic, or we know him as our Lord and Savior. We can learn a lot from kids' books. In Charlotte's Web, when Fern was talking to the animals, the parents went to see a psychiatrist because they said, we think she's crazy. When you guys leave Nyack College, you're going to go out into the world. And some people might think that you're crazy because you pray and believe in a God that people cannot see and cannot touch. But we know better than that. We know, just like we learned from great children's books, the fox and the little prince, the most important things in our life are those things that are invisible to the eye. It's only with the heart that one can see rightly. I share the stage today with two great men of prayer, with Reverend Trong and with Graham Power one person from Vietnam, one person from the continent of Africa. They know that the single most transformational thing that we can do in this world is pray. In August, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the greatest speech ever given. 
Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. What little people know is that when Dr. King did not want to take that cup for civil rights, he was leading a nice middle-class existence. He got a note one night that said, we are going to blow up your house. And he looked at that note and he said a prayer and he said, Lord, I don't want to do this. I'm nervous for myself. I'm nervous for my family. You need to protect my family. And that Sunday when the family was out, that house was bombed. But the Reverend King and the rest of his family was saved. And that's when he said, Lord, I know what you want me to do now. And he went on to be one of the greatest leaders in the history of the American Republic. Another great story of prayer is one I want to end on. It's about a movie that we made called Amazing Grace. It's about someone that was quite the opposite of Martin Luther King. His name was John Newton. John Newton's described best in his own words as a slave trader, an infidel, a mercenary. When he was crossing the Atlantic, his ship started to sink and there was a massive storm. And he said a prayer and he said, Lord, if you save this ship, I will turn my life around and become a Christian. Miraculously, that ship was saved. But when John Newton got in, you know what he started to do? He went to church every week. He read his Bible. He stopped dancing. He stopped drinking. He stopped smoking. But he kept trading slaves. Because at that time, even parts of the church and the crown said that that was something that was okay. But in time, God changed John Newton's heart through prayer. And the things that broke God's heart began to break John Newton's heart. And he became a great writer of hymns. And he went on to write the hymn, Amazing Grace. And when you read that, when you hear that hymn next time, I once was blind, but now I see, John Newton was blind when he thought he was a believer. It wasn't until he realized what the prophet Samuel realized before him, that God doesn't look what's on the outside. God only cares about what's on the inside. So when you guys go out there after this, and God has a fantastic and perfect plan for you, never, ever forget that. You have Jesus in your heart, and there is no end to what you guys are going to be accomplished with the great education that you got from this school. Peace of Christ, and I congratulate you. Mr. President, members of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the candidate for the Honorary Doctorate of Letters degree, Mr. Graham Power. Mr. Power, will you please come to the right side of the roster? Graham Power is the founder and chairman of the Power Group of Companies, formed in 1983. It is one of Southern Africa's leaders in the field of civil engineering construction turnkey property development and infrastructure with 2,000 employees. In 1999, Graham accepted Christ as his savior, an event that transformed his life, his family, and his business. He was the visionary leader who initiated a gathering in Cape Town that saw 45,000 Christians fill Newland Stadium in 2001 to pray for the needs of their nation. Today, this movement has become the largest prayer gathering in recorded history, where people from every country in the world participate annually in the Global Day of Prayer on Pentecost Sunday. It is estimated that over 400 million people participated in the year 2010. Mr. Power is also the founder of the Unashamedly Ethical Campaign, which promotes ethics, values, and clean living across all sectors of society. This campaign is currently sweeping South Africa, Africa, and circling the globe. He is also the author of Not By Might, Not By Power with Diane Vermouten, a remarkable story of the growth of the Global Day of Prayer and the birth of Unashamedly Ethical. With Dr. Dion Forster, Graham wrote, transform your work life on what God has done in their lives and in what God wants to do with and through Christians in the marketplace. I am very pleased to introduce Mr. Graham Power. By virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Trustees upon the recommendation of the faculty of Nyack College and Alliance Theological Seminary, and by virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, 
I have the honor to confer upon you the Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa and cause you to be invested with a hood appropriate to that degree. May the Lord bless you. It is an emotional moment for me. Um, thank you very much, uh, President Dr. Mike Scales, President of the Board and all of the trustees. I come from the southern tip of Africa, a place called Cape Town. So I'm an African. I may be a whitey, but I'm an African. <laughs> and I'm a proud African. I grew up in a family of five children. I'm the second youngest. Not one of my brothers or sisters or I had the privilege of being able to study further. In fact, my eldest brother and sister left school at the age of 15 and 16 so that us younger three could in fact finish our high schooling. So to say that uh, what is happening here today is an emotional moment for me and uh, the fact that I believe that something has been broken in the spirit in our family and that I believe that many of our children and grandchildren will like yourselves one day have the privilege of being able to gain a, a degree. I want to say a huge thank you to my wife, Lauren, who's sitting up there. Lauren, won't you just stand? And uh, just to say that she was the lady that... Where I had started off as a trainee surveyor in a construction company and then started doing quantity surveying and later project management, got to a point where she said to me, you're working so hard, you can do it for yourself. And we started our company 30 years ago, and she was the only other employee doing the books. And uh, progressively, um, I want to say to you that I spent those first 17 years chasing success, more companies, more material things, more game farms. And as I chased after those things, I came to realize that uh, when you achieve that next goal that you've set yourself, there still isn't this inner peace. And I went along, um, in fact, I had a personal assistant, a secretary, who was a dedicated Christian. She did some crazy things, unbeknown to me. When I was out on site, she would come into my office and she would pray for me. She even did some amazing things like taking anointing oil and anointed my desk and my door and crazy things like that. When I eventually, in 1999, similar to Michael, made a commitment in February 99, and I got to hear these stories. I said, are you crazy? If I knew it, I probably would have fired you at the time. <laughs> so uh, it's been an amazing 14 years since that time. A year later, to say that Lauren and I did the Alpha course, we, uh, she made a commitment in that time, 1999. A year later, I was in Spain at our holiday home, and I ended up waking up with the most clear, what I call was not a vision, was not a dream, but was an instruction. And that was to head back to the southern tip of Africa, to hire the largest football stadium, to challenge the Christians from all the different denominations to come together for a day of repentance and prayer. But the detail was such that it would start there, then it would roll to the rest of South Africa, southern africa africa and then god showed how he would spread from africa his arms out and out around the whole of the globe and he would pull the whole globe into his chest like a mother would um, embrace a newborn baby and i want to say to you that what started off as that one gathering with lots of resistance and questions and who are you and what church do you belong to we know you as a business guy to the year 2010 where all 220 nations in the world participated in the day of prayer. And to say that <laughs> that Cape Town at the southern tip of Africa, at the time, in 1999 and 2000, we had 22 bombs that exploded in 18 months. We had that first day of prayer which was specifically focused on the racial reconciliation in what was the last bastion of apartheid for the bombings, for the drugs, the unemployment, HIV, AIDS in Africa, etc. And to say to you that from that day until today, 
13 years later, not a single bomb has been planted or exploded in our city. I want to fast forward and take you to October of 2006. So now the Global Day of Prayer was rolling out across the world. And um, I ended up, for the second time in my life, waking up on the 6th of October with an electricity going through my body with the Holy Spirit on me and coming as a, having grown up as this uh, Catholic boy which didn't understand too much, never having really taken any interest in the church, I want to say to you that it was the most amazing experience that for three and a half hours from four until 7.30 that morning, God showed me that there would be three waves that would cross over Africa and the globe. And the first wave would be the wave of prayer. The second wave would be the wave of ethics, values, and clean living. And the third wave would be a positive tsunami, a transformation and a revival like the world has never seen. And friends, I want to tell you that I believe that that's going to happen in your and my lifetime. And I want to say to you that Africa, the dark continent, that Africa will become a light to the world. Today it's rated as the most corrupt continent in the world. And God showed that there were three things to be done in that middle phase. And that was to have a pledge form where people would commit to be unashamedly ethical. Number two, that there would be an electronic database which we, Christians around the world, would link with one another, do business with one another, and that we would be able to, uh, whether you want to hire a plumber or an electrician in your home, you would be able to go onto that database rather than onto the yellow pages. And that there would be an ombudsman which would monitor that in each country. Today it's operating in 91 countries. In my own country, three and a half thousand companies have already committed to be unashamedly ethical and tens of thousands of individuals. I want to ask you, to plead with you, to challenge you, to go in the next week or 10 days onto the website www.unashamedlyethical.com and become part of what I believe is God's second wave. I thank him for this honor. I thank you for this privilege of being here. I want to say that I give God all the honor and all the glory because it was not through any man, through any great committee that the Global Day of Prayer could roll out. This is God's plan. I thank you and I want to say that I had the privilege yesterday of visiting the NIAC um, new um, uh, building in Manhattan and to stand there and to see that in the middle of the busiest, most crucial part of the marketplace in the world, that that is where you are bringing the light. I thank God for the vision that he's given for NIAC. I believe that you are going into a new realm, that God has a purpose and a plan to bring light into the darkness, and that NIAC, that you are about to enter a whole new phase. I thank God for your president. I thank him for your board. I ask that, you'll pray your, that he will put his blessing and his anointing over each and every one of you. I pray this all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. It's not a wonderful thing to be in Nyack College and be inspired by this man of God. Amen. Amen. That is future for all of us. God is good. And God, hallelujah. How about if we we'll always stand up and have a word of prayer? Gracious God, we, we come into your presence once again, recognizing that you are mighty God, powerful God, but you are also a gracious God, a merciful God that takes us from wherever we are and brings us, us to a new stage. We thank you for the inspiration that three brothers that have been granted the doctoral degree today represent to all of us. Uh, may you be inspired by, by their commitment to you, by their commitment to your kingdom, to the expansion of your church, and to betterment of society. We exalt you because uh, we can trust in you every single moment, knowing that the God that has blessed them is the God that is ready to bless us. And as we, we get together in this wonderful celebration, 
this uh, service uh, that is more than a commencement service. It's a thanksgiving moment. We, we, we give thanks to you. Thanks for Nayak College. Thank you for the, the uh, top leadership of the school, for the staff, for the faculty. Thank you for the students. And as we see this group of students in front of us, these people that are, are just graduating, we can only dream and imagine what lies ahead for all of them and for your church and for your kingdom. Use each one of them as you have used so far these brothers uh, this, that just shared their testimony among us and make us a mighty army that goes from faith to faith, from glory to glory, exalting Jesus, working for justice, for peace in this world, and testify the goodness of the one who calls us from the darkness to the mighty light. We exalt you, we glorify you in the name that is above name, the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.
Will the class of 2013 please stand? I need to hear a louder shout. Mr. President, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the candidates for the various master and bachelor and associate degrees. These candidates have completed the prescribed course of study registered with the Education Department of the University of the State of New York and have fulfilled all academic requirements for their respective degrees. They have given evidence of authentic faithfulness, intellectual attainment, and skill acquisition for ministry and life for society. And upon the recommendation of the faculty of Nyack College and Alliance Theological Seminary, I present these candidates to you at this time. By virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Trustees, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Nyack College and Alliance Theological Seminary, and by virtue of the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I have the honor to confer upon you the appropriate degree from your respective courses. To symbolize your graduation, you may now move your tassels from the right to the left of your cap. You may now come to the rostrum to receive your degree. May the Lord bless each of you. Master of Divinity degree. Diane Ava Joy Asphalt. Mariella Henry. Eugenia Co. Kelly Lindsay Lapelli. Claudette M. Lafleur Delfonce. Tamar Lindwine St. Jean. Jenny Louise Little. Jenny Louise Little. Paul James Andrew Adams. Robert Alexander Thompson. Robert Alexander Thompson. Richard Santana. Alexander Emmanuel Curtin. Yonghui Han. Leslie Benfield. Ji Hyun Kim. Hai Jin Kim. David Eng Wong. Ronald L. Damas. David Utak Lee. Jose Carlos Montez. Jose Humphreys. Sang Chan Ri. He Suk An Ri. Shi Wei Chang, Stephen Joe, McEdwin Charles, Jennifer Hong, Lucius Walker III, Swing Ho Bak, Kui P. Tai. 
Jennifer Nunez. Saibu. Rachel Saibu. Samuel. Samuel Saibu. Denise March. Nishant Chaco Thomas. Alethea Danielle Gibbs. William Glenn Miller. Master of Arts in Biblical Literature, Old Testament. Jacqueline Diamond Verhage. Kailene Lopo. Maritza Elena Horsham. Master of Arts in Biblical Literature, New Testament. Amy R. Miller. Jack Kao Yi Chan. Sherry Roll. Dolores W. Tolls. Josephine Kim. Peter Gabriel Rivera. Master of Arts in Intercultural Studies. Sharon Nishanth Thomas. Master of Professional Studies, Hazel P. McCray. Krista Jeanette Forstrom. Ruth Ortiz. Dorcas I. Sharp. Lauren Renee Armstrong. Maria Clea Larinaga. Andrew Hung. Daniel Rodriguez. Rohan Thompson. Eric Lewis. Huang Tang. Joseph Henry. The fruit of the Spirit is long-suffering. Amen? Praise God. Amen. Yes. Master's degree in counseling. Mabel Martinez Almonte.
Wiki Toussaint. Patience. For the second time, master's degree in counseling, Mabel Martinez Almante. Yvette Michelle James. Vet Michelle James. Denise Chahada. Vera Amala Aviles. I'm oh, sorry. Roselle Ferrer de Ham. Errol Christopher Victory. Kathleen Martalo. Barbara J. Parker. Lauren Grant.
Asha Griffith. Okay. Carolyn Burgos. Loretta Marie Greenwich. Wanda Aliers. Helen Chung. Rosalind Carellas. Robert E. Blakes. Louis Alvin Landera. Sean Curry. Austin DePaul. Asuwari Samuel Alugunju. Jillian Mir. Patricia Phoenix. Suzanne Chakalamani. Michelle Martel. Joshua Echeviria. Erica Cortez. Esther Garcia. Diljana Esquireska. Susan Bergskal. Anne Marie Woods. Jeezy Carmel Dixon. Michelle Peaks. Chantel Paran. Luann McCann. <laughs> Rebecca Bidel. Burnett Chalawakchuk. James Garfney. Okay, we have a master's in business administration. Okay. Okay. All right, Tanya Corbin. Plachette Reed. Young To Lee. Richard Emden, senior. Emmanuel Ardian, Ali. Alexis Hooper. David Christopher King. Kenny. Sorry. Peter Alexander. Christopher Lynch. Brian Gregory Tuck. Dinesh, Dinesh. <laughs> Annette Mendoza. Walter Edward Strick III. J Jason Terrence Pearson. Master of Science in Special Education. <laughs> Johanna Elise Rodriguez. <laughs> Kayla Nunez. <laughs> Arlene Gutierrez. <laughs> Shoshana Leah Rosenberg. <laughs> Shatia Lindsay. 
Jamila Diancia Williams. Okay, Master of Science in Organizational Leadership. Kayla Creton. Thalia Warner. Kenneth John. Jorge Zambado. Natasha Bon Walker. Sakina Garcia. Marcia Pickens. Olga Pedera. Roxanne English. Monique Simone Headley. Tracy Harris. Glenn Ramsey. Kimberly Atlas. Hello. Irene Stewart. Jennifer Lee. Lisa Lewis. Katura Miller Hardy. Gerard McHale. Isara Alcantara. Eugenio Earl. Emmanuel Weger. Maria Rivera Jones. <laughs> Kathy Gabriel. Mario Joseph. Kenny Francois. Bachelor of Science in Organizational Management. Hamlet R. Jaquez. Belinda Hernandez Oponte. Leah DeVore. Kim B. Marshall. Janet V. Davis Seeley. Cheryl Patrick. Tanya Denise Owens. Amelia A. Holbrooks Gibbs. Alicia Antoinette Bowen. Fridia Wilson. Stacy Ann Pantor. Shantia M. Simmons. Mynesha J. Rogers. Joseph M. Williams, Sr. Sherlyn J. McKnight. Denise Tate Lewis. Peggy N. Davis. Althea A. Tulak. Maurice R. Belfonte. Gemma M. Johnson. Kenneth Holman. 
May L. Brown. Harold J. Spaulding. Shernette Stewart. Constancia L. Robinson. Desiree Renee Hill. Magali Genestine Castillo. Paulina Campbell Richards. Kimberly Skinner. Lizette Medina. Ruth J. McConnell Bailey. Jamerla Elise Wyatt. Nancy Nunez Valdez. Brian G. Reeves. Anelis Castro. Ismael D. Rodriguez. Libni Arenalas. Leah Selena Warwood. Christina Ortiz. Sebastian Leonardi. Serafine Rodriguez. Robert Capers III. Grace Elizabeth Gray. Jerry Martin Velez. Bachelor of Science. Anthony Paul Ferreira. Amanda Ray Skinner. Vincent J. Jacopino. Eve Rose Corbett. Adriana Perez. Tahira Abdullah Ilzara. Marvin Kyle Salvatore. Taylor Sidney Brown. Shelby Ann Triglinos. Anna Bailey Schumann. Amelia Moore. Michelle Elizabeth Michaela. Arthur M. Pereira. Jeffrey Stephen Lopo. Monique C. Bartholome. Matthew Stephen Reinhardt. Dane William McCarthy. Jason Patrick Ingracia. David Del Rego. David Joshua Muckle. Cassandra Rose Ford. Mary Vargo Gazy. Jennifer J. Vega. Chinwa Charity Uchendu. Pooja Ramas Chandramiramani. Angelica M. Perez. Sharon Naomi Wilson. Carlene Andre Prepet. Valerie Maxine Edmund Jackson. Mercy Idu Asamoa. Rebecca Michelle Davis. 
Allison Wynn Birch, Bethany Renee McCloskey, Samantha Catherine Glastetter, Tane Shong, Stephanie Jean Mercier, Heather Marie Wakeley, Lauren May Brubacher, Alec Schmidt, Marco Likos, Madison Elizabeth Berkner, Quan Ye, Jemima Escalante Castilla, Debbie Giante, Mark Wegman, John Philippe Constantino, Christopher Jordan Barrios, Genesis Jeanette Almanzar, Aaron Charles Reale, Bruni Steve Christian, Christiana Dale Clemente, Andrew Stephen Allen, Amanda Shea Allen, Brianna Jean Edwards, Carly Ann Cruzado, Vernell Lewis, Hope and Justina Johnson, Miranda Olson, Brianna Mariana Emily Aird, Ryan Jacob Walters, Nathan David McGee, Jodel Kareem Wright, Curtis Michael Julian, JD Calabresi, Timothy James Briggs, Richard Benjamin Sessoms, James R. Gibbons, Kuvam Long Lore, Robert A. Schwing III, Matthew Charles York, Olatumski Rufus Adayam. Salvacion Fernandez Coralini, Jeffrey Alex Tavares, Thalia N. Mercado Alvarez, Audrey King, Daniel Antonio Trejo, Jennifer Perez Trejo, Marlon Nieves, <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Hoopel, <laughs> Kelly Michelle Winters, <laughs> Kelsey Elizabeth Van Hook, <laughs> Abigail J. Frank, <laughs> Stephanie Cara Leon. Paul Thomas Van Houten, <laughs> Philip Bruce Powell, <laughs> David Joshua Hugo, <laughs> Elizabeth Kelly Beers, <laughs> Ian Pena, <laughs> Daniel Ortiz, 
Robert Lee Calamari. Theodore N. Smith. Michelle Joel San Louis. Courtney Annette Pie. Jamur David Jackson. Lafayette Rogi Curtis. Diamond Brooks. Brandon Jamel Flowers. Camden Thomas Lawrence. Jacqueline Perez. Diane Alexandre Lemon. Chelsea Carolyn Verling. Simon Song. Ishak Nage Allison Cotona. Chantel Simone Parmley. Yolanda Michelle Morgan. Nicolette Anne Marie Facey. Trenton Thomas Carrington Mitchell. Nashe Janique Williams. Tanisha Rosalyn Brown. Jonathan Henry Lang. Hiram R. Orama Jr. Christian V. Pineda. Wilson Waysun Chan. Amanda Elizabeth Farrell. Edlin Victoria Safi. Mr. President, the valedictorian, Carol Joanna Ziegler Ritter. Jeremy Eric Garcia. Giovanni Santiago. Andre William Hayes. Elijah Ortiz. Eric Diaz. Abigail Ruth Espinal. Amber Murray Ball. Sierra Elaine Francis Golden. Jocelyn Joy Morales. Melanie Rose Rios. Susan Henderson. Raven Mena. Hillary Antoinette Street. Jacqueline Isabel Zapata. Bokun Chang. Joy Itepu. Mark Rob. Junga Patterson. David Sterling. Edward Giovanni Concepcion. Leana Lizardo. Alicia Arocho. Adelirja Maria Gomez. Griselda Abreu. Vernay L. Bennett. Shantae T. Smith. Laverne R. Waters. 
Janet D. Matthews. Tanisha Ann Chopin. Gail Ann V. Roberts. Joseph Ray. Britta Janae Majolines. John B. Ross. Kevin M. Cartagena. Andre Yoshi Howell. Jeff Isaac Hodge. Chanel J. Quezada. Yo Jin Kang. Lelio A. Delancourt. Leonard G. Calhoun. Leonard F. Latag. Faith Danielle Jordan. Bachelor of Sacred Music. Joseph Smith. Devin Ray Hillary. Bachelor of Music. Chloe Elizabeth Neville. Alethea Rose Brown. Carrie Altramesa P. Suter. Ronnie Cheron. Latoya Renea Smith. Kyung Ah Kim. Victor Antonio Tergalani. Liseni Rodriguez. Annabelle Jason Cortez. Dei Wee Han. Leon Odell Emmanuel McCamry. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Evelyn Duma. <laughs> Shineda Winter. Daniel Graham Atkins. Ricardo Cabrera. Dennis Anthony Cortez. Luisa Francesca Muñiz. Ron Joseph Laxamana. Stephanie Firioli Robero. Edwin Danielle Soto Jr. Melissa Solosano. Melissa Leah Jeremiah. Natasha Lavana Shanice. Dana Elizabeth Blackwood. 
Jessica Emily Hartshorn. Ellen Youssef. Teresa Danella Da Silva. Robert Gregory Irving III. Ian Andrew Peters. James Yakovos Hahn. Crystal Lee Pelly. Giovanni Jose Rosario. Charles Howard McComb. Aaron Elizabeth Barr. Lonnie Marie Odato. Abigail Sarah Luz. Sergio George Caban. Shamika L. Durant. Betty J. Pearl. Sang Duck Kim. Hong Choi. Kwang Wook Choi. Jang Hoon Lee. Richie Forty. Mark Anthony Ferrer. Jewel Washington. Sure, why not? Daryl David Moore. Kaisha Love Turner. Bethany Judith Maraska Holler. Mariah Ann Walker. Megan Christine Calamari. Cindy Elizabeth Tremenio. <laughs> Tamara Renee Herring. How do you pronounce that? Caitlin Elizabeth Folin. <laughs> Hannah. Hannah Elaine Shipman. Suzanne Tara Wagner. Leanne B. Malley. Nicholas Cellini. Maggie Lynn Nielsen Felisberto. Elizabeth Minuet Kendricks. Manuel Masonet, Christopher June Choi, Stuart Vincent Guild, Tita S. Wright,
Joseph Edward Joubert II. Hunter C. Beasley. Francis Annabel Garcia. Bruce Mack. Cesar Alejandro Galindo. Cherie Domanmik Pot Pen. Alzumar Tyriak Pittman. Lawrence Alexander Felder. Tyrek Richard Isaiah Lang. Eric Yip. Denise Vasquez. Elaine Christina Pereira. Raquel Veronica Reeves. Ruth Esther Cosme. Marie Owens. Marielle Lien Isaac. Joel Manga Jackson. Eduardo G. Philippe. Raven Nicole Aponte. Kamari Christiana Tellis. Olivia Margaret Washington. Tawny Heather Savage. Rebecca E. Fargo. Associate in Science. Amanda Marie Pabon. Trudy Elizabeth Scott. Associate of Arts, Lydia Michelle Carlin. Ladies and gentlemen, um, friends and neighbors, brothers and sisters, I present the largest graduating class of world changers at Nyack College and Alliance Seminary. Please stand. Do you all feel the power? Let us sing with power. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Sure. 
Ladies and gentlemen, sisters and brothers, congratulations, you may now take off your hats. Praise God. <laughs> On behalf of Anayak College and the Alliance Theological Seminaries and Professional Schools, Dr. President Scales, trustee board, the executive faculty, staff, and all of our professors, I'd like to greet you one more time. It is with a gladness in my heart and this little sadness to say adieu. But we shall see you again. May you not have to experience total lack and poverty to know that Jehovah is Jireh, the Lord who provides even your student loans and a new job. Yeah. <laughs> May you never be critically ill before you know Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. Yeah. May you never have to suffer misfortune, trauma, and tragedy as your daily portion to know that Jehovah Shalom is the God of peace. Amen. Most of all, may you never be separated from the Lord's presence to know that Jesus Christ is the fullness of salvation and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. But, but, if these things come upon you, and they may, may they not overwhelm you and overcome you, because the panacea and the antidote for these things is found in 2 Corinthians 7 and 14. If my people, or who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then shall I hear from heaven and heal their land. Now as we part, only to meet again, May God, the Lord, bless us with all heavenly benediction and make us pure and holy in his sight. May the riches of his glory abound in us. May he instruct us with the word of truth, inform us with the gospel of salvation, and enrich us with his love through Jesus Christ. And may the church at Nyack say, Amen. Amen. God bless you all.